We resume uh, talking about paint and the ratio of paint to water. Another thing that can happen with watercolor painting paint is that you can create something called blooms. Some people do it deliberately. Some people do it by accident <laughs> when you're impatient like I am and you don't let your first layer dry. What happens is that you end up with a lot of water on your paper. Then you come along and you add a lot of water. You come along with a brush that has a paint with a lot of water on it and you're adding water to water. And what happens is the new water actually will push out the old water and create what, what's called sometimes a bloom. There's several different names to it. But I'll see if I can try to get you an example. I take very watery paper. I mean, very watery paint, like this. Then I decide I want to add a line to it. For example, so I come along and I add a whole lot of water to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually the new water is kind of pushing out the old water as it spreads out and it's creating, can be beautiful, but it also when it dries will sometimes dry with a very hard line around the, where the paint pushes out. I'll show you an example in one second. If you notice right here, you can see where there's a hard line here. I didn't intend that to happen. I got impatient and put water in there and again the water pushed everything out like that and so the edge of the water pushed all the paint to the edge and so you got what's kind of called a bloom. There was another one up here as well. It happens a lot if you're doing a lot of very loose, very wet, um, very wet painting. It can be beautiful and if you do it deliberately um, it can add a really interesting effect. Um, but sometimes that's not what you want to happen. So if you don't want that to happen, again, the number one lesson with watercolor is let it dry. Um, let your first layer dry before you come along and try to tinker with it. If you want to add a little bit of subtle color while you're still doing it and you don't want to completely let it dry, you can wait until basically the, the first layer is almost dry and then you can add a little bit of paint, paint and it won't be, do quite so much of a bleed. You can also just add less water to your second layer. Um, set of paint. So when you go into paint in an area that's very wet, make sure that there's more paint on your brush the second time when you come in. I hope that makes sense. Um, that way you're not adding water to water. You're adding some pure paint to, to the water and it doesn't tend to bleed as much.